Hi again. I had some very interesting inquiries over the past six months about the AR-17. And I guess there are other videos about this shotgun, which, which I have here. Uh, but the, the questions were so good and the people were so intense in their interest on this shotgun. So I went to the effort of finding one. And I can tell you it's not easy to find these AR-17s. I lucked out and I have one that is in mint condition. And just by way of background, uh, this is a stoner, Eugene Stoner um, invention. And it's, um, it is something else. We've got, I don't know how, I don't know how to describe this. It's, it's four pounds, probably somebody's weighted. I took apart the four end just before filming, which spares you having to watch me unthread this thing. It's a short recoil operated mechanism. Um, and some of the questions were actually generated by apparently other videos. So people, I guess, are watching videos, but those videos aren't answering their questions for whatever reason. So I, I have, the, this is the real deal. I have my handy rare earth magnet. And so this, this receiver is clearly aluminum. Uh, the bolt is steel. Uh, there's another spot here where the bolt locks. Let's move it aside. It's not hanging up on the forehand. That's steel as well. And I'll show you the lugs. They look like M4, M16 lugs, multiple lugs. So they lock into a, a locking collar that's steel. Then the big question I had was, do you know if the barrel is steel or not? And well, all I can do is this. This is a magnet, that's the barrel, and you tell me. The magnet does not stick. Now, if it was a steel liner, some of you wrote me, you know how it is with these threads, and you'll know more about it than I do. The people are kind of discussing things amongst themselves. Some people thought there's a steel liner, and maybe there is a steel liner inside the aluminum housing, but Normally, these magnets pick up any kind of steel. So whatever this barrel is made of, I assume it's an aluminum alloy. And if there is a liner, then it's got to be minimal. Then some people thought it was a gas shotgun. So I, 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 this is easy. And this reminds me of that Remington Nylon 66 forend. And you can see there's no gas system on this. This is just a hanger. And it's, uh, is this steel? I never checked. That's not steel either. So no wonder the thing weighs nothing. So how does this gun work? The barrel kicks back and that little movement, I hope you can detect it, that little movement is sufficient because of the violence of the movement to kick this bolt backwards. And um, now, the reason it stayed back is there's no shell in here, and obviously you can see the hanger means there's no tubular magazine. And just as a footnote, I think this thing's unfired. Like, I, I don't think anybody ever used this. I'm pretty sure. Anyhow, um, so no magazine, so that the, the shell sits in, in here, kind of on the carrier. And I'll show you how it works. You imagine a shell in here, so there's a 12 gauge shotgun shell right here, and then that allows you to push the bolt forward. So starting from scratch, you would put a shell in the chamber, you would put another shell in here, and you would have two shots. And this is similar to the Browning double automatic, and then the uh, Beretta, and the Beretta was the UGB25 Excel which I don't have. Um, they made it just maybe three or four years ago. It was a little different because the shell was hanging on the side of the action. Anyhow, um, for, all, for all this controversy out there, I can't find much steel on this gun at all. And this time I'm not being critical. Uh, they somehow made this whole thing out of alloys and just where it had to be steel. So, I mean, obviously, this has to somehow be strong. So we've got the bolt, and then this locking mechanism, which you can't see. And then at the end of the barrel, 
we've got a variable choke device and that's okay that's not steel either so I, I'm I'm actually not sure what's going on here there's, there's not much steel on this gun obviously uh, well, I don't want to even say that I was going to say obviously this is not a steel shot shotgun but maybe it's some kind of fantastic alloy that that I don't know of but it's extremely light um, the shotgun failed this is that Remington nylon 66 style buttstock although maybe this is inferior I don't know it's not cracked but like I told you I don't think anybody's fired this thing I'm just gonna check if the safety is if there's something steel on here well there you go the trigger is steel which is funny because they make triggers out of plastic these days trigger guard no not steel anyhow um, I hope that answers your questions uh, it sounds silly to go to all the trouble to find this shotgun to answer those few questions, but uh, apparently this is kind of a gun of interest to a lot of people and probably of some historic importance. And I'll just go through that. So you, you, your round is down here and I can see it. You may not be able to see it, but there are kind of hooks attached here. You'll see them peek out. That's what releases the bolt and then it's ready to go. So two shots, I don't know, should I take it out and shoot it? Probably not, but I might. If I do, I'll report back to you and um, reassembly, very simple. So not many parts, probably the origin of quite a few re short recoil guns. It looks a lot like the Benelli system to me, but short recoil has been around for a while. So is long recoil. So I, I don't know. I think it's more... Uh, uh, a revolutionary gun from a materials point of view that somehow this can all be aluminum or nylon or whatever this uh, polymer is and I still haven't figured out this barrel thing yeah I'll have to think about that maybe you know more than I do um, you would think there's a steel liner in there but how come the magnet doesn't pick it up <laughs> anyway some questions answered some questions raised but um, certainly a very interesting gun and thanks for asking me about it because uh, this was a challenging find and there's just about not a mark on this thing which is rare maybe they were afraid to fire it anyway thanks for watching we'll see you again next time